Hello everyone, Eddie here. You see her down there, look. They're encroaching in. Oh, board the spaceship. And yeah, I made a little never trip. I rubbed a load of quartz for miles around again. And tidied up the interior. So we can have a little bit of something something here and something something there. Bit of something growing there. You know, making it a bit more. We don't know. A bit more organic in here. Like this is like the Arboretum air support system for the ship. But this isn't even the big one. This is just like the landing craft. The mothership, if I ever make it, would be huge. I want simple as glass slabs. Dinner bone, get on it. Look, I can't get up there, dinner bone. But I can get up there. I need that window, and I need it to be a glass slab. <laughs> Please, dinner bone, make it glass slabs. <sighs> what did I do down here? A yeah. bit more quartz in here. Not sure what to do with these. These <coughs> half of these are hull, half of these aren't, because I've thickened it all the way up. See, but if you come down this here, away from the engine core itself, you'll see it's getting a bit of quartz out here now. And I may end up changing a lot of the ship to quartz if I can gather enough. Get rid of some of this stone, replace it with quartz. Oh, got to be a bit careful down here. That sneaky creeper's about, isn't he? Where did he go? Hey, where are you, you sneaky ninja green thing? They do get me a lot round there. Because they come out of the swamp. Dun, dun, dun. Well, as soon as I decide not to fire this, it'll appear. No, uh, he's not about. Let's go for the sword just in case. This is skeleton pool over here. Usually there's at least two skeletons in there popping at me and one in there. We have some fun out here. But this is where I'm going to put the village a bit, so that'll all change very soon. Get rid of some of these trees which creepers hide in. He was this way. I'm going to head towards right where he is and get blown up, you can tell. Scooting this way for a reason. I'm going to pop into town quick. Because I can. Look, I got fed up running over the top of that hill. So I made myself a tunnel. Just because I could. And I beat Lord Raven to it. I just gotta find it again now. I found it. I did find it. I just gotta find it again. Mountain Dew Mania. He's absolutely fine. She's great at keeping secrets. Absolutely fantastic at keeping secrets, aren't you, Mountain Dew Mania? Yes. I do a bit of spin around just to confuse Lord Raven a bit more. Won't want him to find it too easy, would we? Right, just do a bit more spin around. Oh, doesn't help the sun's going down. That's a really nice sunset. Oh, I had to grab it, sorry. <laughs> Makes great ending shots. There's no no clues at all around here. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, what's this? Shh! Don't tell Lord Raven. What's that? Ha 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 ha! Mountain Dew Mania, we can keep a secret. You'll never find that in a month of Sundays. Oh, 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 oh,
There's the bridge. Well, there will be the bridge here. Yeah. Oh, that's only cliff edge. Nothing to worry about. That's a point. How's my armour doing? That's hanging in there good. Oh, perfect time for some of them making whirring noises right outside the window, right when I'm recording. So you just love it, eh? They just don't appreciate it. Right, I'm going to pause for a minute until that whirring noise stops. Once I've dealt with these guys. <laughs> Hang on, <laughs> this might take longer than I thought. they got buddies. Oh, you want in on the action, do you? Come on in. You big string of beans. Oop. Right, I'm going to pause here. It stopped. Now it started again. Right, I'm going to pause here till that stops. It's still going on. <laughs> but I got mugged again. Um, pretty sure I saw a spider over here as well. Oh, and another zombie. Yeah. It's the Battle of the Bridge. Do, 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 do. Oh, that blooming noise. Typical Friday afternoon on a council estate in Portsmouth. Sun is out. It's really hot. You got. People drilling right outside your window. You've got kids screaming all over the show. You've got cars driving past with music blaring. When am I going to get me recording done? Right, we might have to bear with it. I do apologise for it because it's as annoying as hell. But what can I say? Oh, it's stop, I'm recording. It don't quite work, does it? Uh, hang on. No, it started again. It must be bored. Sounds like someone's like got a little mini aqua back in there hooping or something. But it's not required. Not when we be busy yeah. fun. Oh. Oh. This was a plan that I had ages and ages and ages ago. It's the SS Eddie. Lost as usual. And the reason it was there because... It says Eddie needs a higher bridge because can't get me boat under that bridge. <laughs> so I built a boat. <laughs> Sorry, Devon. It can stay, it can go, really don't mind. It was just a bit of a giggle that one. That looks really nice with that light inside those windows. Darren's got a cracking job on that. Meanwhile, it's night time, which could be a very good... Uh, that's a bit dangerous walking behind Jeremy's butt at night, isn't it? Well, we're going to get egged or something worse drop on your head. Well, it's night. I need... to... Where did I put them? There. I need to try and do something. I was trying to do it before and failing miserably. Then I was watching a certain small channel called Shrooms and it's Shrooms 233 if I remember rightly which is capital S-H-R-O-M small Z 233 and I will put a link in the channel in case I misspelt it. Was doing Tower of Mushrooms in his world. Now, he runs mostly a creative world in his videos, but I tell you something, it's, it's addictive watching because he will sit there and quite happily just build stuff and create it, but it's very free form, very open open plan and just does it. It's taking a bit of No, it's not. 
That's not going to be high enough. What do I do it there for? It's, oh, I'll tell you something. It's worth watching. Check him out. Link will be in the description. Because, oh. It's, the only way you can describe it is experimenting with Minecraft. Now, he does a lot of fun things with villagers, which of course is always a good thing. Like a bit of villager torture and teasing. And he does a lot of just abstract designs, a bit like glowstone trees and stuff. But it really, really does work. It's, it's a different form of Minecraft. Worth watching. Definitely worth checking out. And he was sitting there and he was making a tower of mushrooms. Now, when I planted the mushroom to do that one, I ended up making this huge box around it. And it being a right nightmare to do. But all shrooms did was pop a platform over the top of it. As long as I get roughly the centre of this platform, you can plant your mushroom. And then I need some bone milk. And hopefully there's enough height on the platform. Oh no, hit the, hit the mushroom, not everything else around it. There you go. So that goes up. Then, what we do is give. Oh, hang on, two seconds. Right, yeah, no worries. Uh, right, where were we? I was with my dirt my gut. Oh, I ain't got enough now. Let's go grab some wall, I think about. Ah, oh, sun's coming up. It's going to make it a little trickier yeah, because it increases the light levels a bit. There's been quite a few bits of zombie flesh lying around these villages. Those iron golems are doing their work. They're doing the work. Gravel, gravel, grass. I don't really like wasting grass. Ooh. All I want is a blob of dirt. Why do I dread coming in here? Fireworks and villages and all sorts of stuff. Dirt. Just need a blob. Blob of dirt. I'll tell you what, take two blob. No, just, yeah, that would just enough dirt. Jeremy, you look so cute. Just can't remember not to walk behind him, because that could be messy. I do well. Oh, no, I should. <laughs> be using ladders or flying to do this. We can see my shovel. need to do for the next level is pop that out, put a bit of dirt in it, go up again, it should be high enough. Build another platform. sure how big these platforms have got to be. I'm just making them kind of oversized as long as they definitely block out the light down to the bottom. Not sure it's going to work in the daytime though. Oh, of course it's much easier to do in creative. I'm derping around in survival that's for sure. I could flick on flying and do it in creative but I prefer the survival builds. I enjoy creative. I've just started getting into it. But survival builds are my thing. Just don't get out get away from that villager. 
I see it. Oof. Oh, that didn't help, did it? That did. Now, I wouldn't do that's gonna plant there now. No, might have to wait till night time. Oh, there's a hole in the platform. That'll be me then. Boop, that could make all the difference. And there's a reason I didn't use my shovel on it, because I'd end up digging right through, probably. Right. Standing down here this time, so don't get hit on the head by it. Yes. Now, the decision here is how high do I go? One more, I think. Just one more. And that's something I don't thought of. I'm surprised the villagers haven't got out of that fencing because there's jump boots on. And they should. Oh, they look. It even gives me the mushroom to do it with. Oh nice. Right, let's go up again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Out of there. Don't know sure how tall it's got to be, as long as it's tall enough to be higher than the mushroom. Well, as I say, I'm just making these platforms oversized. But this. If I can do it and it works out, a little tip if you ever do any things, just knock out the one where your pillar is down and you know which one to come down. Uh, do, 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 do. I did have another slap, I did have another stack. There they are. Now this, hopefully if I can do it, will be a little tower block for villagers. Hopefully. May not get it built this episode, but you'll be able to see it in the next one maybe. Why is there a villager on my roof? Raven. Was that you, Devon? You had loads of spare villagers. Don't, it could even be shrooms, you just don't know who to, who to blame nowadays for the pranking. It'll be everyone. If I change, it's not me. Well, not always me anyway. Just. Aha! <laughs> Another one. Right, let's go up and take that platform off. See, even without creative and doing it in survival, you can do these crazy things with just a little bit of dirt and a little bit of effort. And have I got close to oh, I thought I might have some close to on me. Never mind, talk to me. Jump boots nearly killed me. That is why you got to be careful to show it don't stop. It goes through everything. Right, and that is what I shall now call Shroom's Towers. <coughs> and that is how you make a mushroom tower. Nice and simple. Courtesy of Shroom's. Thank you, fella. That has made my life very interesting and very fun because I can now tower block that for the villagers. Thank you very much indeed. And I just need to take a two second break here to find out how long I've been recording. 
because I may have confused myself with all the pauses. Two six. Ah, we're well, okay. We've got a few minutes left. We've got a few minutes left. Let's just make this actually, because I forgot to do it. Let's just make these a little safer. Because otherwise, we're going to get mobbified. And we've got enough mobbed attention from the villagers. <laughs> and I shall get these built up very soon. But I do want to spend the last few minutes doing a quick. Wow! Look at that. So near death. Oh, I'm not going to make that, are you? He got it right. Clocks everywhere. That should keep the mobs at bay at least for the minute. And make it look pretty at night. What I'm gonna do. We still is working a treat. Oh, I can show you that as well. I've adjusted it. It needed some adjusting. Food. Do I need food? Top up. Yeah, we're pretty clear out there for chickens. Back doors to one place everywhere now. Oh, I've adjusted this. Now, it's only a subtle adjustment, but it's increased the mob drops. The mob drops are burning with the mobs. So, what I've done is. I've <laughs> what I've done. He's taken out the sign at the bottom to allow the water to come right through to the bottom. And I've raised the lava blade up one level. So it's one level higher. So that glass wasn't there before. The lava came in where the glass was. And put another sign there. So the water now pushes them in. They hit the water and they bob. And as they bob, they cook their heads. And hopefully, because they stood in water, the drop rate will be much improved. And it is definitely picking up because that gunpowder was like one earlier today and these were definitely down so now I'm really pleased with that up in the park some drops I've got here in there as well don't need that quite my stone brick mate. that's where I was changing it to work out how that got in there uh, any other more drops in there no apart from feathers and it's not having feathers so now as they come in now they stand in water and cook their heads. It's brutal. The only thing I'm not sure of is baby zombies. Are baby zombies going to get high enough to kill themselves? Or am I going to come in one day and start to see a little stack of them stashed there? What have we got in here that I can put stuff? Uh, nothing I really want to keep in there. Let's go up and put some of this stuff away before we do a quick flyby and see what's happening in the world that looks awesome, I like that thank you Mr Shrooms, thank you very much indeed highly recommend it most unusual style of YouTube because of the creative style but you know, it works, it works very well uh, dirt, bish, bash, stones, don't look there when I'm just chucking them in for the moment, I will come back and sort them later, ceiling glass, get rid of some of that, another stuff, quartz, uh, plenty of wood, that can just get chucked in, I'll sort that later, honestly I will, Get rid of all my woody stuff and spare bow. I'm going mob drops for that and that. And more mushrooms. Find me all mushrooms. Right, I'm going there. Buckets I'm going to keep on me. 
and back to work. Right, what I'm going to do, the reason I cleared out my inventory so I don't build anything while I'm doing it. Uh, let's have ourselves a game mode. One. And we'll have a flyby. Jeremy! Dun, 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 dun. And Devon has been cracking on by this a treat. Look how nice this is coming on there. The blacksmith's forge all the way through, and as I said, the lighting coming off there at night just looks really, really good. The back of Home Sweet Home and the log cabin, as it's known. You don't often get to see the back of you, but you see how much work is going into this. It is a huge build. And all that was mountain because my little perch was behind a mountain. You couldn't even, see, you just barely see the tops of those houses from it. Or when you stood there, you could barely see the tops. So lots is going on there. Seth's new house. Fugly house come tumble down castle, which actually looks better from the air than it does from the ground. The pillar, the inner light the markets. Uh, four ounce scoops little place which for some reason I peeked in it the other day. Had a strange visitor. Yes it's still got a strange visitor in there. Then we'll zip over here. He says trying to head in the right direction. It takes some doing. Spoilers beware, beware. Nobody knows about that, don't look at that, because that'll be a spoiler. Darcelin's place. House is coming on a tree, isn't it? She's only been on a teeny while. And look at the work she's putting in. It's bro. Um, I fly over this way. I could zoom over to Nunny's castle, which is over there, but Lord Raven flew over that the other day. So, I'm not ignoring you, Nunny, I'm just... It's the other direction from where I'm travelling. You shall get a view another day, Nunny. Back to the side of town. Past my weird funky place, which does look better from the air than it does from the ground. <laughs> Stables and Devon's Tower. Cross the bridge over the swamp, which is not needed now, but it is, stays as a very decorative thing. We'll scoot this way. We'll, we'll come in from this direction first. Because this one has one of the most stunning builds I've seen in a long time. And we'll come at it from this angle. Look at that. Scoops was building his port. And we were all mucking about and joking and saying, can we park ships in your docks and stuff? And Seth come along and basically built a cracking, <laughs> a cracking ship. I've just seen something else that may be a spoiler. And yeah, I was like, oh, this could be loads of spoilers. Uh, no, I'm going to have to not do this. And that's where things started to go wrong. I did have another 10 minutes of me flying round and look at everyone's bases showing Lord Raven how close he got to finding mine because I literally just left the lava pool he found but the X story, this heat, none of it was going to work so I've got nothing left to show so all I've got to do now is say have a brilliant day everyone I'll catch you next time bye